Go. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. My name is Moini, and I'm here with Wagiri. And when people get here, they don't go nowhere. So they please go. Kashini, okay. So today, mm -hmm. we are gathered here today to talk about the harsh realities of adulting. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, baby, shot. <laughs> I sound on who shot this. Yeah. yeah. Still, but but yeah. we are here to talk about the harsh realities of adulting. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, as you grow up and as you become adult, an adult, there's things that hit you harder as you grow up that I feel like you didn't realize when you were a child. Younger. Yeah. 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 So, can I start? Sure. Okay. First of all, death is inevitable. Like, there are people who are your age that will die. And that might also be you. <laughs> ha! Or me! You I, know? I, I God forbid Jesus, I want to die already. Yeah. But like, um, nobody is ready for death. In, except my we grandma. We the spirit Where? of death. We Where? cast it. It's not here, but like, like it's inevitable and mm -hmm. it's going to come at whatever time. And sometimes that's your friend. Yeah. And then sometimes that's you. Yeah, and sometimes so, that's your family, the closest people, the people you depend family, on, the yeah. people you don't expect that they'll go, they'll leave, they'll mm -hmm. like the last person you expect to exit this world soonest yeah. actually exists, exits first. first. Yeah, which hurts. Yeah, but you gotta live the reality. Yeah, and like uh, something else is that life moves on, and life moves on. Actually, let me let me tell you two incidences. When, okay. when <laughs> no, we're not crying. What's wrong with oh, you? Okay, fine. <laughs> we're not crying. So I think there are. Two, actually, oh. so since COVID started, I can count up to 16 people that I know in person and in close range that I have lost since COVID. That's since 2020 March. Yes. Crazy. But before then, I think the only person I was very attached to losing was my sister. I lost my sister in 2015. Shoo! We are done crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know how to I don't know how to react then, to emotions yeah, from someone else. Girl, it's okay, but it's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I know for a fact death hits hard, especially when it's the people you didn't expect to exit yeah. fast. Yeah. So like last twenty you expect you'll spend your whole life with, with your them. sisters. You know exactly and with your aunties and your close relatives and then they just leave. Yeah. So like we lost my sister in twenty fifteen. She was quite young, so Maybe there was not that much attachment, but yeah. still there was because yeah. this is my blood. Like this is it's our person we shared our womb with yeah. exactly. But then there is also so twenty twenty. I got lost a lot of people that I knew who died through COVID. Okay, but they just everyone who lost someone to COVID, sending our love, sending our love. Yeah, and then twenty twenty one happened. But the one that hit me most was twenty twenty. So twenty twenty, I think I was numb to pain yeah. when I lost the first few people that I lost. But the one that hit me most was when I lost my best friend in June. Yeah. I was like, "Fuck, my world is done." You know, yeah. like done, done. And it was to COVID. No, actually, it wasn't okay. to COVID. She had dif a different kind of complication and she was in hospital for like seven months. Okay. So it was a bit difficult for me, owing to the fact that I stopped a lot of things in my life to be with her, yeah. knowing that she will fight out of the it's situation true. and we would continue the journey together. Yeah, is that we go into so many situations with hope? You know. Yeah. So I think that's hit me most. And then after now, I was able to kind of, okay. I can't say that I feel complete because there are days when I pick up my phone and I want to call her and then I remember, oh shit, she does not exist yeah. anymore. But I thank God because she left me with two things. She left me with another mom and she left me with a brother. So that gives me, you know, like some, like, comfort. some comfort. Like at least when yeah. I see some people, I see her, you yeah. know. So everything I do and even some of our close friends, because she had definitely other close friends that we shared. Yeah. So you'd see like, probably there's a friend of mine called Jere who got admitted to the bar and he, like when he was calling all of us up he's like this is for wendy yeah you know and i feel like yeah. i can't wait to wear that wig and be like this is, this for, is for you you know for wendy, yeah. yeah so and but then you oh also God. get to realize that you move yeah you, you move. move because because yeah, even then they wouldn't want you to stay in that position especially yeah. her yeah especially her she'd be like so 
you know and yeah. for us we had this thing where there was no in love ya or baby or nene it was bromance mbaya ile mekauka like why fuck you we want to do nini na you know yeah i know and for a reason i don't want to say that i felt that she was leaving yeah. but before she died there are two things she did yeah. she sent me the tat the, the picture of the tat yeah. i have now yeah. and she held my hand on the last day that we met and she told me i love you that's one thing my best friend has only told me once right. in our life and yeah. she told me again when she was dying so i was just like what but then now we live, yeah. we live, we live, you know. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's point number one. Okay, do you have another one? Adult a harsh truth of adulting. A harsh truth of adulting. When your mom or your dad was telling you better your I to now we you to pass and you he or she actually meant it. Way like, the amount of effort it takes to make money. You remember like the calculations we were doing yeah. before the videos? We the like, calculations. <laughs> We are like exchanging our priorities and I'm like but that's not a priority because yeah. you know, I'm thinking yeah. you do something better with that money yeah. but if I was 12 or 11 let me tell you moving out mm -hmm. changed my life yeah babe like me when I was in my parents house we yeah. I'd go anywhere I'd do anything do the everywhere uber everywhere me myself back into the KBS in Africa I love me ah, my gosh yani in Africa me I I love saying my house my house until the last day of the month and I'm like are you sure it's going to be my house no more I don't know cuz I know cuz if you do your rent you pay your water bill you pay your electricity you have to do shopping for the house shopping and then you imagine you have to move around for work that's transport <laughs> and you also want entertainment and so you also imagine that you grow old so you want to save <laughs> ah! and then and it's a yes and it's a self and it's a self paying for your hair paying for your nails paying for no fucking clothes paying for a drink sometimes and you, drink, oh, oh. you need to eat every day sometimes oh, on my own expense I need to eat everything. Sometimes, every day. I, wonder, sometimes I wonder how the hell our parents made it. Because and, and if I feel this and much, you know, our parents yeah. were doing it at 24, 25. You see, like where we live now, where you thought was my place. Uh, my dad literally bought that shamba when he was 24. Babe, how old are we? <laughs> We're joking, but yeah, yeah. growing up has taught us a, a lot. lot. Yeah, yeah, like earrings cost. Let me tell you, maybe it's that I was living with my money, so with my mom. Yeah, so, so like didn't I didn't. When I come home, yeah. there's food, and like if I don't make like the bed, my sister gets irritated because we're in the same room, so she yeah, makes the yeah. bed, or like just like weird shit I never thought about. Rice, moshe ah. Um, sugar. Um, what else do I think Now about? Now, when we are going to the supermarket, we are going to get 16 bob, and we are going to get 10 bob. What the fuck? I love you. How do you know the Kongalia? What supermarket is cheaper? Me, I, I swear. I never got that. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. I swear. Between I swear. 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 I because let me tell you because and me i've gone to many supermarkets hmm. since i moved out i've yeah. gone to quick mart yeah. i've gone to carry four yeah in network car four mask in network car four and four 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 yeah yeah and neighbors and i shit you not neighbors always gives me the best right? deal and it has a lot of freebies things especially if yeah. you especially and a, especially you know, a lot of like because i and a lot of brands like so many it has different so many brands yeah. yeah but the only thing i'm now <laughs> on our website but you crashed to kinunu have you i 
nzima hiyo ni ya mkono mkono pasi ya kufanya hivi si unataka eh, zile za kufanya hivi unataka bidi hata mimi ukweli ya ukweli mimi sitaki hiyo mimi nachomanga nguo eh, sana tafuteni sim hiyo ni ya kuuzia magalde mkasi sisi ndio aka ka kamera kama una feel ni kama kana lose focus as in ile lakini niko sawa tumeiva kaimu tungu wewe aya focus yeah another one i feel like for me is like um a harsh truth of adulting is you have to treat your heart mm-hmm. with uttermost care mm-hmm. like you have to treat your heart your mind your body your yeah. soul yeah. your space where you live yeah. with care and yeah. with precision yeah. which means like you can't and not everyone can come to your house or your space not everyone can get into your heart mm-hmm. not everyone should influence how you think yeah. not everyone can influence your being and yeah. how you carry yourself yeah. it's very very different for everyone mm-hmm. and like it's also like boundaries i think hey. but i think it's boundaries because now because you, you treat your heart <laughs> and your mind and your body and your house yeah. and your bedroom and your uh, just like your everything yeah, is that's so closely relates around yeah you. because you know how much it takes to build yourself build mm-hmm. your confidence mm-hmm. build your brain yeah. build your mind build your heart mm-hmm. build being able to afford rent being building shopping yeah. build build anything you treat it with so many boundaries yeah. you, you it's somewhat you have to be special to me for me to, to allow you to into that space. space that's very true so i also think i also think okay boundaries is a very big topic yeah i really struggled with mine to be honest yeah. but i think i'm growing but regardless i feel like not everyone deserves you no but then not everyone deserves you no. and like i not really like, deserves you. let me tell you we've talked about being 20 and at 20 yeah. and over 25 in her channel yeah. which you should go check it out but like yeah you should <laughs> but um what we what we said nimesha sa how boundaries boundaries like <laughs> sip mhm yeah yeah any anyway, continue and nimesha sa okay so what i was saying is boundaries is a whole topic but before we even get there the people you allow into your space are very important Let me tell you something. I spent most of my adulting life and by adulting I mean between 19 and 26 so I think I'm not grown now. Yeah, you have as in Let me tell you ah! that hits you when you become 26. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were about to spit my drama for last no, time. I, no. I don't do that. Like okay. there's something that happens to you when you're 25, yeah. but when it happens when you're 20 When you jump, when you move to the other side different like even if it's that day one i swear i don't know what happens but you just start seeing things differently because like for yeah. me i'm thinking like i look at the people i allowed into my space i'm like guy guy when you come from a macho yeah. what you gonna do you didn't have a heart you didn't have what you gonna do you are like is of those other in orienda i qua a mask to end it was not a mask it was mostly very toxic it was not your environment it was your environment realize you are spending more energy on other people than they were on me no, no, than they were on me but unajipatia tu dakika mbili za kujihurumia alafu na move on na move on eh cuz i saw life you move on eh yeah. eh so so eh so another, another thing one. about um adulting that i didn't expect a harsh, harsh reality truth about adulting that i did not expect to be very honest i did not expect that dating would be so much harder Over when 25. I'm over 25 as compared wow. to when I'm under 25 because I feel when I was perhaps 18 19 20 the men that came into my life were still in the crisis of 24 25 you know yeah. so we were still somewhere And let me tell you I don't know if I don't I hate to say these mm-hmm. things for girls grow up faster men don't but it's true but it's I don't I didn't it's think sad. it's the truth Me the But guy like, who literally bro, told me a guy a guy who's 24 and a babe that's 24 you can't they can't as in no nonsense fun fact fun fact we we're, we're both the same age right now at are you okay saying your age really we saying your age yeah me i'm okay oh, okay so i don't care we're both 26 <laughs> right now. we're age mates okay and i feel like at 26 now i don't even look at a guy who's 28 I'm sorry. Pare. Yeah. What? I swear like I want a guy who is 
six years older, seven years yes, older. Because there's also well, a lot started, of learning that you, you know when because guy is older. older than me. Because they teach you so much shit that you right? will never know. And he is okay with being your daddy when it's the right time and when your zaddy when, when it's the right time. And you also <laughs> your baby. Your baby. Like, you know what my boss of like one thing I've learned about right time. Yeah, yeah. One thing about I've learned about dating guys who are like six years, seven years older than me is or rather trying to get to know them because you know I've been single for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I was there. Yeah, but, but, we've been sing, but we've been seeing yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I feel like the guys that I have met who are like six years older, seven years older, are way better because of what? A few things. One, they're more, they're mature. I can yeah. have decent conversations with them. I can yeah. have legit conversations with them. Yeah. They understand there's more beyond the body, the flesh, the the in, the instant intimacy. They know yeah. ten years from now. I'll probably be looking like very different, but they still want that different. one thing that will make them stick to me, and one, 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 other, that's one thing that will do the same. You know, yeah. a guy who's seven years older will see me make mistakes in my business. Like, babe, listen, let's. I've how been can there. We do this you know, better. yeah, I've been there, so I know. So how can we do this better? Yeah. Like, there's a guy I was. We were trying to see each other, but it didn't work out. Immediately after I started my company, and I remember he was like, no, 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 you don't do this. You before you do that. this, the guy advising me has four companies. So why the hell would I not leave them? Yet he's my advice. he's not even two weeks old. You know, unfortunately we didn't end up together. You know yourself, hi. Yeah. Please, yeah. if you're still not taking, okay, well, please don't come back. We don't yeah, don't anymore. come back. Yeah, we don't, don't eat our vomit. We don't eat our yeah, vomit. We but don't <laughs> you see, and then there's some level of responsibility yeah, that comes with, with them. them yeah. So he knows. They know needs to be paid every month. They know they know this is a level of accountability. This is probably they something know I should not go go to deja vu all night <laughs> and we, are the we have like thirty eight like ten seconds left. But like yeah they know you can go to they know you can go all night things. and spend all your money and, and suffer tomorrow and because you have shit to do. I know I have never done this openly and please yeah, me okay no. Murugi Muni Murugi Don't Muni. quote me but I think you made the best decision in life to get married to Zach. I that's see, my couple. Yeah, you know, exactly. that's different. That's different. And also how, how the husband takes care of her. her. I like that. Tandles her like an egg. I feel like sometimes you can only find out with older guys. Okay, so our time is up. Guys, catch us on the next video. Tina <laughs> Konga, 24-7. This is us, okay? So catch us on the next video. We had so much fun. We're going to do this often. Okay, yes, so. we will. Bye. I'm taking this as a